Hi, I'm Moby the All Seeing Camera. We back to the channel with another one. I told you guys I wasn't gonna get no updates on Tory Lanez until like January 27th sentencing. Oh, how I was wrong. Oh, how I was wrong. I did forget that whenever evidence is presented to the jury or anything, anybody during a trial, it becomes public information right after it's presented, either the day after, a couple days after. So we do know that they said that the dagger in the heart to Tory Lanez was when they played the full testimony that happened in September when Kelsey Harris went in and talked to the prosecutors and told them exactly what happened word by word, scene by scene. I am, what I tell you guys, I want to hear this so bad. Even though she did go on the stand and say, I lied. The whole thing was a lie. I just said that to protect myself. We want to hear what swayed the jury after hearing this to kind of predict that this man was guilty. I want to hear what was released in this audio. Not only did we get this order, we also got the phone call that Tory Lanez made from prison to Kelsey. We're going to review that as well. It's going to be two separate videos due to this video being so long. Kelsey's testimony is an hour and 20 minutes. So we're going to try to do the full thing. And this is going to be no no edit or nothing. Just one take Drake. I usually try to edit to take away all the blank moments and shit. I want you guys to see my reaction as it happens. We're going to hear a lot of talking from Kelsey, a lot of information. So just sit back, roll up. I already got one. I got another one that I haven't even finished that I stopped and got this idea. So we're going to chill. We're going to vibe out for this. Let's hear what Kelsey said throughout this testimony. And if you're curious to hear what Tory Lanez told Kelsey from prison, stay stay tuned. All right, let's get straight into this. Let's go. Okay, it's uh, September 14th, 2022. It's 1130 in the morning. This is Deputy District Attorney Alexander Bott. I'm here with Deputy District Attorney Kathy Ta. Uh, and... If you guys see me leaning over, either I'm burning or something, I just don't want this video to get demonetized. Uh, DA investigator Jody Little, uh, we're here to interview witness Kelsey Harris in case BA490599. Uh, Ms. Harris is accompanied by her spouse, Mr. Darren. And sir, could you go ahead and say your full name? Darren Smith. And spell your name for me, please, Darren. D-A-R-I-E-N, last name, S-M-I-T-H. That's the dude from Mob Ties, I believe. Have, uh, uh, two individuals uh, appearing by speakerphone. And could you folks just state your name for the recording? Uh -huh. Dominic Calhoun. 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 Great, thank you so much. Really? We will ask them to spell their names, if not now, then later. I can get the second person. Okay, thank you. We're here to talk about um, the events that occurred back in July of 2020, July 12th, 2020. Um, so, uh, and can I call you Kelsey? Yes. Kelsey, why don't we just start with how did you name. come to know um, <laughs> Megan Pete? Uh, we met in college. We attended Prairie View University together, and that's where we established our relationship. So uh, how, how long had you known her um, uh, at the time of the incident in July? Yo, I thought these shorties knew each other for life, forever, the way that they were talking. They met each other, man, freshman year of college. I got people I've been talking with for 10 years I still call them an acquaintance. 2020, how many years do you think? I will say roughly around six to seven years. And how would you describe well, the nature of your relationship? Were you friends? Were you were you uh, uh, work associates? Yes, we were friends. Um, and of course, you know, as she grew into her um, career as an artist, I was I came along as a assistant or a team player, how best long, friend. And how long did you work with her as an assistant? What do you say? <laughs> as a best friend. Um, from twenty. I, I don't I don't know the exact years, but maybe late. 2018 or early 2019 up until the incident. Okay. And uh, what were you and Megan doing out in Los Angeles on, on July 12, 2020? Um, I actually had returned back to Los Angeles. I had came back from Houston after uh, coming over the coronavirus. <laughs> um, she had told me to come back. We were shooting a music video to walk with Cardi B that week. So that is why we were back in LA. That's also what we heard. Remember, Kelsey caught COVID, left, and that's when Megan and Tori became a little bit closer. Okay, and um, ironically, she was shooting I a bit of a walk. Correction: We went back to LA after um, we were staying in New York for a little while filming. Um, once the pandemic broke out, we were supposed to travel overseas. Overseas got closed down, so we ended up relocating to LA. 
Now, when you say relocating, was the plan that you were going to temporarily be staying in LA for a period of time? Correct. Okay. And, and what was the plan as far as how you were going to be staying there? Um, until the pandemic was, you know, over, until everybody was back free to continue on with their, you know, lives. Were you guys staying together or in separate? Um... We were together. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, uh, as far as this particular night, was there any event or anything going on? Um, there was no event, so um, we actually, I was, we had actually got invited by Kylie Jenner to come over to her home um, to hang out. It wasn't like a party invitation, um, so we made plans to do that, um, and yeah, so we just went and attended Kylie's invitation. And, and then going to Tory Lanez, how long did you know him for, before this whole thing happened? We actually had met earlier... 2020. Um, and when you say we, I guess I should probably, when you say we, are you referring to both of you and Meg met him around the same time? Correct. Okay. Uh, early, early 2020, we attended a brunch, a Rock Nation brunch, mm -hmm. and that's... Rock Nation. The one that Tory Lanez decided not to join. Again, conspiracy. That has nothing to do with this footage. We're hearing concrete evidence. Just thought I should sprinkle that in. Where we all met. Okay. And then what would you say was the relationship with Tory, between you, Meg, and Tory, up until that night, at least? Um, everything was okay. There was no issues. Tory, you know, it was one of those situations you flirt. Um, this is somebody that Megan wanted me to, you know... I guess have an involvement with. Um, I ended up catching the virus. Uh, actually, I went back to Houston. It, her lease was up with her apartment. Got her apartment situated, caught the virus, and I stayed there. And um, I guess between that time, Megan and Tori became close. I don't know what the relationship was, but you know they were with each other often, and that was that. Quarantine, quarantine. And, then, and then you came back out and met that back up that in California. Correct. How long would you say you're back out in California before this night in July? Less than a week, if not a week, less than a week. Were you staying with Meg at the time? Great. That's correct. Okay. Um, and then that night you said you guys got an invitation from Kylie? Um, we didn't get the invitation that night. We received the invitation oh, at the music video, okay. which I believe that was maybe two days prior to the uh, July 12th or maybe a day prior to. <sighs> So a day to two days prior to the WAP video being shot is when all this happened. Insane. The little details um, we're gonna get from this, I know. So, yeah. so uh, did you go to the to Kylie's house with Meg? Correct. She asked me to come with her. Okay. Who who else besides you and Meg went to Kylie's house? Um, in our party, our group, it was me, Megan, and her stylist, EJ King. Okay. And then, uh, do you remember about what time you got there? I would want to say around 6, 7 p.m. I believe that's the time we finally got there. Okay. And so once you got there, what was everyone doing? Uh, so once we got there, um, it was, you know, I want to say maybe six people that Kylie already had present. Um, Megan volunteered to cook nachos. And so she actually began to cook nachos and we were all outside. Um, just interacting and that's yeah, how you know it should change because during the trial they said that I believe she got too lit and never actually got to make the nachos during this testimony here little details like that I always keep in mind when I hear two sides because little shit like that is when you're lying it's gonna be hard to remember you get me little details you said throughout your lies are always gonna be hard to remember or maybe she don't remember just because it wasn't that important of a fact and then we began to play beer pong oh there's a pool outside too right there's a pool okay so, um, the pool you guys are all hanging out. Everything. There's a bounty house in the pool, there's a buffet. There's people there already at the house. Security, Security everything. You know, whatever you need. Right? Hotel room. Yes. Well, I didn't know them until Tip that shot. night. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, did, were any of them Tory, though, at the time you arrived? No. Okay. Um, who were the other six people, if you remember? Um, so, uh, her three best friends, I believe one, his name was Faye or Fi. Um, well, the other guy, I can't remember his name. Um, there was a female friend of hers, Chris Jenner's husband or boyfriend, Odell Beckham, and Odell Beckham's friend. And actually, nine people. And then uh, a guy by the name of, what's his name? Their sons to a celebrity was two. So, nine people. Okay. 
So everyone's hanging out. It sounds like everyone's having fun. People were drinking. Yes. Okay. And, and then what, what goes on as the night carries on? So, you know, we were playing beer pong, um, having a great time. Played, you know, she has a basketball court out there also. We played basketball. Shocking. Um, Megan was cooking. She came out, and she was just like, oh, y'all are having fun without me. And we are like, well, come join us, you know? And so um, she joined us. We were all enjoying ourselves. Uh, of course, we ended up into the pool, having fun, enjoying ourselves from there. Um, everybody's still having fun, drinking, consuming alcohol. Um, and that's kind of when the night just began to, I guess, go left a little. Okay. And when you say go left, what, what do you mean? The, um, so it was a point of time where I, you know, I lost my conscience and uh, due to the alcohol consumption. Do, do you know? I mean, it's hard to say because you're... Keep that in mind as well when testimonies are happening. You're saying all these details and all that. But after this point, they were drinking the entire time. I don't know about you guys, but I've drank. And I've drank to the point that it's like, oh, I've had a couple of drinks or maybe a beer or two. And you still remember a tad little bit. Yeah, you still remember a little bit. Still talkative, you got me? I know what I did yesterday. Then I've had other nights that there was no beer involved. We killed a fifth of liquor. You're probably going to see a vlog that we killed a fifth of liquor. We literally pregame, me and my mans. Shout out to Cozy. You know, we'd be playing. Shout, go look at his channel, Young Sound Beats. <clears throat> One of his channels that we'd be playing his music on. The other channel, Cozy Views. Go check that out. But him, pour the whole fifth of us to pregame. I can tell you I was smacked. But I can tell you what happened that day. By throughout the entire thing, we even vlogged. I was vlogging the entire time while recording all those artists. All the shit you see from Viva Urbana, I was smacked. Smack DVD. Except the second day, I was less smacked because I got so smacked the first day. I was like, yeah, now my age is showing. My age is showing. I woke up the next day having heartburn like... Oh, Lord, we drank too much. Because then we continued chilling. That was all pregame at the shit. This guy, we ended up drinking inside the event after. It was crazy. What I'm saying, I still even remember that day. Can I tell you detail for detail on what he walked and where he went and tickets? I could and I can't. Now I've had nights that she sounding like that. We got smacked. I had to go lay down. You lay down and you just, the room is just. Woof, woof, woof. Remember, I'll be waking up the next day like, yo, how did I get home? You run outside because you scared of. That your car's all banged up. Like, yo, nah, my shit's still... Nah, nah, my shit's still good. You gotta make sure your wallet, your money's still there. My shit's still here. How did I get home? What happened yesterday? I've had those nights. Now, if something was to ring, ring, you gotta come down because this and this happened. After I wake up from passing out, I'm gonna come back and be like, I bet it's gonna be the worst testimony ever. You wanna know why? Because you're not gonna remember shit. Is why it's called blackout. And the way that Kelsey is explaining stuff right now, it's, what, it's the vibe I'm getting. Again... You guys know this is the least biased channel possible. I just give you guys the evidence, and I love I love the argument. If you're on the other side, come through. Maybe you'll say something, because it's not even an argument. It's a debate, rather say. Maybe you'll say something that you see something that I don't see. Again, it happens in corporate. It happens everywhere we are. Sometimes you're going to see stuff that I don't see, vice versa. All that to say is, yeah, man, I don't know. Let's see where she's going. She passed out, and then... Now she's going to tell us the story from pass out on. Like, hold on, nah, this is like the least part I'm going to believe you in. I guess I believed you from the beginning half. This is just me as a jury. That's what I'm saying. This is just me as a jury. Just paying attention. I'm just going through the cases you guys are going through. We just, we doing this shit at a cheaper price. Let's go. Losing consciousness, but do you remember about what time it was? We weren't following up at the time, honestly. We weren't following up at the time. We were having a great Good time. Um, I was just saying, ain't no way you paying Did you get a sense of how long you'd probably at least been there before you started, you know, maybe kind of oh losing out on... I would say about maybe 10, 11, somewhere around there. I'll, I'll say that. That's not... I don't know how accurate that is. Okay. Um, so by the time I came back to my senses... Um, Tori's down here, but everybody's gone. Everybody's gone, and so now it's just me, Megan, Tori, EJ, the stylist, and Kylie, of course. I, about what time it was when you came to? No, again, I wasn't following with following up with the time. Um, so. But you, you were like awake and lucid when Tori showed up. Um, I was no when Tori. I wasn't there. Like I didn't know when Tori okay. showed up. I can't tell you what time Tori showed up. To my knowledge, uh, Megan caught a few people on FaceTime, and 
asked him to come over. Um, when you kind of came to, though, you saw him there. How were you feeling there at that point? As far as oh, I was, I was aware. Okay. I was okay. Okay. Um, so, um, okay, so now. Yeah, but how long was the sleep? Because, again, from blackout to now I'm aware I'm sober again. What was the gap? We don't know how much. That's my whole thing right now. We don't know how much time. You know, we're still in the pool. I'm actually, it's Kylie, Tori, and Megan. They're kind of in like an area. I'm actually in the hot tub at this point. I believe that was a hot tub. I can't remember. That was a hot tub or just a smaller pool she has. EJ is sitting. Um, she has like, caban like a cabana style set up. Mm -hmm. He's sitting over there on his phone. So we're all just kind of just minding our business. Um, you can hear at the at the end of the pool, Megan is just like laughing uncontrollably, uh, you know, and it just, it wasn't normal. I never heard her laugh like this, so you can kind of tell <laughs> that was wrong. Um, Whoa! Tori did call my name, you? and I acted like I didn't hear it. Um, and Megan, you know, Megan was like, you know, no. I think the ghost fucked yo. my husband. Hey, yo, hold on, that was way too much at once. Yo, that's crazy. Hold on, I'll be getting back in this. Let's try Come, you know, come, come back. I heard that, you know, but, um, Tor You know, you know the girls smack when they start doing shit like that. They're talking to themselves, okay. <laughs> ah, he think he gonna play me. That's when you gotta get nervous. That's when you gotta take the liquor away. Like, just move the bottle. Move the bottle. I'm speaking from experience. That shit is terrifying. Because <laughs> this shit can go anywhere tonight. Literally, anywhere tonight. Story was going between Megan and Kylie, and um, EJ said, "Kelsey, you know it's time to go. Like let's let's go. It's getting late. The alcohol consumption, like tell like it's time to go." So I said, "Okay, you know I told Megan, hey, like let's go." And uh, she didn't want to leave. So I just went upstairs. I was going to go pack our suitcases because Kylie had a, when we got there, Kylie led us to a room where we can change and hang out and sleep or whatever. Um, so I went upstairs to pack our suitcases. They were already packed. EJ had packed them. So I put my, um, I, it's like a pajama set on. It's a top and a bottom. Um, so I put my set on. I came back downstairs. I loaded EJ's vehicle, who we rode with. Uh, I loaded his vehicle with our suitcases. And, um, you know, at that point, I, I went back in. She wasn't ready to go. So me and EJ stayed outside. I sat inside of, uh, the car with Tory security. Um, Did you know that guy's name? Quan. Okay. Quan. Now he was security. Was he also basically Tory's driver too? Tory's security driver friend. You know, kind of just playing all, of all of the roles, right? Did you now, also keep in mind, Quan is the security guard. Hold on, let me close this. Quan was the security guard that showed up to court, but did not get to testify. Now, when he showed up, remember, I think that was day eight when we were reviewing. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, go back and check. We go more in detail. But that was the day that he shows up, and they were like, "Yo, we've been looking for you for two years, bro. Since 2020. What do you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Where was you? They were like, we needed a whole seven days added to a recess, basically from the trial, as a little break, so we can, you know, go through the whole witness. They haven't seen him. They haven't talked about him. They got to do all that. Tory's team wasn't really trying to do it. He was like, nah, you could do less days. They wasn't trying to do less days. So that's when they ended up saying, you know what? Never do it. Never mind. Let's just go. Let's just finish this off and to give it, give the case to the jury. I think they should have waited. But this is Quan here. And I don't know. Let's go. Let's see where this goes. Do you know him before? So this paints Quan in because I don't even know. I never heard before. I never met Quan. Okay. I, I, know, I never that met That was Quan. my first time meeting Quan. Um, so did, did you know, was he like local to LA or did he travel with Tori? Do you know? I know he didn't travel with Tori because, like I said, that was my first time meeting okay. him. I don't know when Quan came in and how long they've been acquainted or he was just there for that night. I, I can't tell so you. So he had a separate car. Tori had a separate car. And right. that's the car you got into. That's the car okay. I got in, into. I sat in the front seat. Quan sat in his driver's seat. And I was actually on FaceTime with my sister and we were talking, you know, just kind of one of those things like, girl, you know, yeah. like. Yeah. I can't believe we're here, you know? <laughs> we used to watch this growing up. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're talking, regular talk. Um, and then, so EJ says, Kelsey, tell Megan it's time to go. Her wig is coming off of her head. So at that point, it's like, okay, no, we have to go. Because <laughs> her appearance isn't, you know, it's not holding up correctly. Yeah. So I went inside and I said, Megan, like, let's go. You're... She didn't even know her wig was coming off. And I said, your wig. So that, that made her get up, come on and get up out the pool. 
So Tori stayed in with Kylie. Um, so we come outside. Um, this time, you know, we're we're making our plans to leave. Um, I guess at some point she tells EJ, no, Tori's taking us home. So they transferred the luggage from EJ's car to Tori's car. This is why you should have just got it that way, EJ. You should have just got it that way, EJ. Oh. 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 In another universe, EJ would have been like, nah. Nah, I'm taking you home. Oh. oh let's get back into this. And so once they did that, Megan jumped in the front seat. Now Quan's driving, and I'm in the back seat behind Megan. And EJ just drives off in his own car, correct? Right? Uh, not just yet. Okay. Um, so I just want, I want to be clear and make sure I'm not losing my... Uh... Okay, so once we do that... Um, Okay, Megan, she, you know, she tells Quan to get Tori like it's time to go. So Quan goes in to grab Tori. Um, we stay in the car. Tori comes out and he's like, no, take them home. You know, his demeanor was, he, did, he didn't want to get in the car. Why? You know, I don't know. Tori didn't want to get in the Tori car. didn't want to get in the did car. Did he seem upset at all? It wasn't that he was upset. Um, I think he... He wasn't upset. He just was he was he very yeah. He did not want to get in the car. He didn't want to get in the car with us. Um, like I said, at that point, I'm it's like his energy was telling him, bro. Like it's like his energy was telling him. <clears throat> oh my god, it's just killing me right now. My head, like yo, that's so nuts. Like just if you would have just stood. This is just a lesson to men, like right now. Again, whatever happened, happened. We don't even know what really happened. They said that this whole shit's a lie. Keep it in mind. But the fact that we've all went through moments like this. If you've, if you've been in your in your twenties to late teens, anything where alcohol was involved, and you was chilling with Jones and shit goes sour with a girl you was talking to, and you try to like, we was talking, but I ain't wife you or nothing. But we had the same function. It's another John that you're trying to shoot at. It's just a bad move. And all I'm saying is that when liquor's involved, people are going to not do shit that they would regularly do, if that's a nice way to say it. And it's like his energy was telling him, like, yo, nah, get in the whip. And I felt that before. The thing with me is that I'm always the bad guy. Just know that. That's why it's a joke with me and all my friends. I'm like Scarface. It's always a bad guy, and it's always me. It's fine. That's cool. I'm used to it already. It's fine. I would have not gotten that car. Again, liquor was involved for Tory, too. He could be like, yo, Quan's my driver. They ain't my whip, like. It's just crazy to see. It's just crazy to see. Ultra University, they said he'll make different decisions, so this would have went a different way. Aware of why. Um, so, anyways. Um, also, if you see my hands moving weirdly um, under the we desk, leave. my dog's So, Tori sits at the house with Kyla. He's mad as I It's me, me, Quan, and Megan. So, we leave. Um, EJ follows out behind us. He goes, his, he goes home. Um, Cause there's no, re he, you know, there's no reason for him to follow us. He's going home. Um, so as we're leaving, Megan is still doing this laugh. I'm kind of just in the back seat, just like I don't know, you know, just just in the back seat. And then I guess she realizes that she had left a slipper, a Louis Vuitton slipper slide that she wears. And so she demanded Quan to take us back to Kylie's. And so um, we pull up to Kylie's house, and everybody's kind of confused. Her security mm -hmm. guards are outside, probably like six security guards. Tell my Kylie's security guards. Correct. And uh, he calls to see if it's okay. We come back, and they let us in. Um, so once they let us in, Megan jumps out the vehicle. I stay in the vehicle. Quan um, follows behind Megan, so it's just me at this point. Oh, Quan actually gets out of the car with Meg. Right. Okay. So uh, they're inside. It's for a little moment, then immediately they rush out. Everybody rushes out. Tori, Who's everybody? Okay. Tori, uh, Quan, Megan. Kylie, she comes out, but she stays on her porch. That's crazy. Um, on her door entry. Um, so Megan jumps back in the front seat. Tori gets in the car, which is now he's behind Quan. He's behind the driver. I'm still behind the front passenger. And Megan says, she says, sorry, I got a cuss. But she says, bitch. Kylie said, we gotta get the fuck out of here. And I was like, what? what? Like, why? And so, Quan was like, they were in their You're arguing. listening to Street TV. I guess, Tori and Megan. Um, and so, what they were arguing about, I don't know. Um, so, it was kind of like, oh, okay. Um, 
And uh, and that's all we needed maybe, somebody that was in there, uh, Corey Gamble. And so stand. Megan's in the front, Quan's driving. You're in the back seat <laughs> behind Quan. Megan. Or behind Megan, and Tori's behind Quan. Correct. Okay. So um, we're leaving. We're driving, you know, come going down the road. Megan is laughing still. It's like an uncontrollable laugh. And um, just out of curiosity, you know, I'm, I want to know what's funny. So um, I'm like, what's, you know, what's, what is funny? Like, what is going on? And Tori, that's when Tori butts in. Um, and he's like, yeah, Megan, why don't you tell your best friend what's so funny? Why don't you tell her how fake you are? And so I'm confused because this was random. And so I said, what? Like, what are you talking about? And Megan's like, Kelsey, don't listen to him. He's just trying to make you mad. And so I'm like, what are you, like, what are you talking about, you know? And, uh, n you know, next thing you know, the arguing.